Today's video sponsor is GGG where using my SKG discount code leads to a 25% off across several products, making a Windows 10 serial key only $16. After the payment, you'll receive the key in your account and all you need to do is to introduce it in your Windows settings and BAM! You have an activated system. Yo, 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 guys, Ancient Gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. So as for today's video, I'm bringing you the review of the new Adrenaline 23.1.2 drivers. And as I say in all my videos, 23 is the year, 2023, 1 is the month, January, and 2 is the revision in that same month, so the second revision of January. Before anything, these drivers are once again, and I repeat, once again, only for the RX 7000 series. If you do want to use these new drivers on the RX 6000 series, you can use the Amer Nime Moda drivers because apparently modders can do what AMD can't. And even if those drivers don't bring any new kind of performance uplift, just knowing that those people actually have the new drivers available would make AMD look way better. So. I don't know why they're doing this, but it seems that they're focusing once again just on the RX 7000 series because they actually want to have them as stable as they can and performing the best they can as soon as possible. Although they're kind of neglecting the, the older cards and that's not good at all. But I do believe that in the beginning of the next month, so in the beginning of February, that we will indeed have newer drivers for the RX 6000 series. At least that's what I've read. Also, it is important to note that somehow, I, I mean, really, somehow, these 23.1.2 drivers are not available on AMD's website, nor on the upgrade um, on the upgrade button on your Radeon software. I mean, they do not appear there. They do not appear on the AMD site. If you go there and you search for drivers for the RX 7900 XT or 7900 XTX. The drivers that will appear are the 23.1.1 and I don't really know why. I searched on AMD's Facebook, AMD's Twitter and they do not have anything on the 22 on the 23 sorry 0.1.2 drivers. Although if you go to Google and search AMD 23.1.2, they will appear somehow, okay? And they are indeed official drivers, so you don't have to worry because they are not scam. They are official drivers and they will work as I already tested, okay? And they do support for spoken uh, with a little higher smoothness, so higher 1% lows. Anyway, let's start with the release notes. So as for the highlights, we have support for Forspoken, IREE compiler using the MLIR interface on Vulkan, so more Vulkan compilers and options, and additional Vulkan extensions. Click here for more information. So once again, more Vulkan extensions, which is quite nice actually. We also have some fixed issues with the first one being AMD Software Adrenaline Edition may fail to launch with the error message delayed write failed on Microsoft Windows 11 version 22 half 2. So this seems to be fixed. I never had such issues, not with the XDX and not with the XT, but I mean, it seems to be fixed. As for the second one, it is poor performance and load time may be observed while playing Space Engine. And the third one is missing or flickering textures may be observed while playing Emergency 4. I don't even know this game, but it seems to be fixed, which is nice. As for the known issues, we still have some, with the first one being high idle power has situationally been observed when using select high resolution and high refresh rate panels. So people still having these issues, with high idle power uh, when using, for example, one 144Hz monitor and another 60Hz one, uh, we'll still have these issues in some of the cases, okay? Not all people will have issues, but it is a fact that some people will have high idle power and that should not happen. AMD needs to fix this ASAP because people actually having 100 watts idle power uh, when using, for example, 4K 120Hz or when using two displays Place, makes absolutely no sense and it is borderline disgusting. This should never, never happen. <sighs> yeah, at, at least on my 1440p ultra wide 160Hz everything is fine, otherwise I would have sent the card back, believe me. 
The second known issue is video stuttering or performance drop may be observed during gameplay plus video playback with some extended display configurations. So still inside the same thing about power draw, high idle power draw uh, in between many other things. So the power scaling is still a bit off um, with, with some users, not all once again, but some users which needs to be fixed ASAP. Stuttering may be observed in Uncharted 4 A Thief's End during opening game sequence, okay? Not black screens, not anything else, but now just stuttering, which is quite okay, because it's just the opening sequence. Stuttering may be observed in Forspoken when dynamic resolution is set to enabled. Application crash may be observed while opening premium gold packs in EA Sports FIFA 23. That's a thing that people actually have been complaining about. It seems that, that AMD now acknowledges the, the problem and will fix it as soon as possible, okay? Stuttering may be observed while playing Sea of Thieves, which is bad because lots of people love this game. Corruption may be observed while playing Battlefield 4 with post-process quality setting set to a high or ultra. Some virtual reality games or apps may experience lower than expected performance. And the last one is maximum encode bitrate is limited to 100 Mbps for certain applications, okay? And that's what we have actually, nothing more, nothing less. It seems that AMD has acknowledged some more issues that they didn't acknowledge before, meaning that if they know that the issues are there, they are trying to fix them. Um, Although there is some annoying issues once again with the power draw because in most for most users the power draw will be fine but users I have read lots of comments with users having 4k 120 Hz and it seems that on that specific case the high idle power draw is a, a very very bad issue because having 100 watts while sitting on the desktop 100 watts power draw while sitting on the desktop is not acceptable by any means not acceptable at all and needs to be fixed as for the issues with these drivers i had no black screens no blue screens i did have some issues uh when using wondershare filmora rendering okay so it seems that from time to time the software will just crash stutter freeze and then crash completely and sometimes I do have to restart the computer and it is due to the hardware acceleration on the newer RX 7000 series drivers. It did not happen with the 6000 series drivers and I did not use it enough but it seems to not happen on the Nvidia drivers as well. Another thing that annoys the hell out of me is that CRU, so Custom Resolution Utility, does not work with the newer drivers, okay? It just doesn't stick. I create resolutions, I do everything, but the resolutions just won't appear and it is annoying as hell. It works on the previous driver, so the 22.11.2 and before, it works there, okay? It works on the NVIDIA GPUs even with the current drivers, everything works fine, but it just doesn't stick to the new AMD drivers, okay? To the RX 7000 series, it just doesn't work. I don't know if it is related to the drivers or if it is related to the software that it is not updated to the new display engine, I don't really know, but the fact is that CRU does not work with the 7000 series, and that's a bummer. Besides that, everything is inside the usual uh, performance, so games performed the same. I saw exactly no improvements in terms of gaming performance, at least from what I've tested. Uh, Forza Horizon 5 is still bugged, at least on the reference version, so no performance uplifts whatsoever, which is kind of annoying, just a bit more 1% lows, but that's inside the margin of error. What I mean with this is that people are is actually waiting for more. If they're taking so much time to release drivers, maybe releasing one or two versions a month, sometimes even less, and specifically releasing them for the, for the RX 7000 series, people are waiting for more. Okay, people want more, people want more fixed issues, people want solutions for their problems, and if you're fixing just, uh, if you're focusing just on the 7000 series, you need to bring us more, AMD. You need to bring us more. That's just my humble opinion. And well, guys, that's all for today's video. Once again, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget, leave your comment in the comment section with your experience with these drivers, if they work well for you or not, um, if they work better in Forspoken or not, depending on the, the card that you have, if they fix some of your issues or not, because I and the community really want to know, okay? That's why I make these videos for us to help each other with issues that are actually happening um, and yeah.
basically that's it. Once again, leave your comment in the comment section uh, for us to know what's happening with these driver versions on your computer. With, with these driver versions on your computer. So yeah, see you in the next video, guys.